Hello, what's up, all my viewers, YouTubers, Facebook, Twitters, <clears throat> um, Tumblrs, whatever other website, internet communicating website I forget. <clears throat> this is yours truly coming at you, Donovan Kelly, aka a cultic babe, and this vlog is going to pretty much be about uh, how people constantly act stupid ass questions and the rest of this vlog is gonna probably just be about random like I don't know just random random just a random vlog uh this is something that's been bothering the hell out of me for quite some time now <clears throat> we're gonna first start off with the other subject um I don't feel that no one takes me serious when I say that I'm a witch you know kinda like the Corey Nick and Chris K incident happened. They kind of laughed it off because my mom came up and picked me up. And all they told my mom, he said he's going to do spells on us. I'm like, you're telling my mom, what the fuck is that going to do? Well, all she could do is tell me not to do it. That don't mean I'm going to not do it. You know, I'm still going to do it. Stuff like that, laughing and, oh yeah, you're going to use some fairy dust and stuff. Just making a big joke, you know, and I'm not joking. No, there will be no fairy dust being used. It'd be worse kinds of dust than that. Stuff like goofer dust that'll fucking kill you if you breathe it in too much. Or it'll just kill you with just from being in contact. It's a mixture of some things. I'm not going to give that away. But I just feel like no one's taking me serious because it's, it's not a joke. I don't care. I'm sick of people. Oh, well, I don't believe in it. Uh, you don't have to believe in it. Us as witches, us as pagans, us as Satanists, us as whatever type of wit you, witch you are, whatever kind of magic you are, you know, whatever kind of witchcraft that you are into doesn't matter about the victim the victim is supposed to feel vulnerable and you know they supposed to get ready to battle with no fight that's where we want you we want you to not believe that we're doing a spell and it's not going to work we want you to do that because when you do that you come to us and you piss a witch off you piss someone else that's practicing even a practicing witch like myself individual like myself you fuck with us and you say, oh, I don't believe in it. That's good. You don't have to believe in it. It's not your job to believe in it. It's our job to believe in it. And we'll take care of what we have to take care of. It's like the Christians. I, I think there's a verse somewhere in the Bible. Because I used to be a Christian so many years ago. Something about form, ye form a, we ye form a we weapon or something like that against me or something like that. Which means they're telling you to. You come to the fight with a weapon, you come to the fight with some kind of tactic, or you're just going to be vulnerable and get fucked. So that's where we want you, is we want you to, like, not believe in magic. We we want you to not have nothing to believe in, because that's just making it worse for yourself. I just want to clear it up, because no one takes me seriously. No one takes me serious at all. I guess they think that, I don't know if it's a... Uh, stereotype thing or whatever the hell it is but I'm gonna tell you anybody could be a witch but you know I don't I don't care if you used to be a Christian or whatever you are or you know a more a Mormon you could be a witch you just gotta possess that power you just gotta keep practicing it you gotta take heed in it you gotta take warning you gotta take reality in it and take it serious because sometimes I feel that I'm cheating myself out like wow what the hell like years ago I was just in 2000, like, you know, freaky in 2004, in 2005, and 2006, and 2007 is when it came about. I just dropped everything and changed my religion because I felt that Christianity wasn't for me anymore. That's all. I know Jesus Christ exists. I know Satan exists, but let's put it this way. The, the light wasn't for me, you know. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, you're doing this for this, and you, you got all these people, and, you know, no, I'm not. I'm not leading anybody to do shit they don't want to do. Okay, I got my own occult going, you know, so that's their choice, you know. I don't tell people what to do. You know, people run to me because they feel that energy towards me. People run to me because they feel that I'm a, I'm a cool person, so... No need to get mad or jealous because I know how to treat people like fucking human beings. Get mad at yourself for being fucking dicks. Get mad at yourself for being stupid bitches and not pulling your head out your ass. 
You know, everybody say this is a new year and, and stuff, and I still see people fucking being smart asses and got their nose up in the fucking air so high they can't even put their nose out their ass. You know, this is serious shit. And I've been cheating myself out of this for quite some time. So I don't know if it's like one thing try to possess another, but I am not going to let the Christianity thing possess me at all because I'm not, I won't let nothing possess me because to me, possession is just fucking. You know, it, it ain't right. You know, people say the devil made me do this. No, none of that. You made yourself do it because you're a fucking idiot, you know. But I have to get into this myself and get into it more. I got materials, you know. I'm, I'm still learning what certain magic is and what certain magic not. You know, I'm still learning. I wasn't born a fucking... I wasn't born a witch. No one in my family was pagan or Wiccan or any witches at all. They are like churchgoers. And I just, I changed. It's just like getting a haircut. Do you, you have the same fucking haircut you did when you were in eighth grade? Hell no. You probably grew it out or probably just shaved it all off. My thing is you could change. Some people change and they, they keep it they keep it that way. For me, I kept going forward. I'm here, I am 30 years old today. And look, I, I never would have thought I would stop wearing baggy jeans or, you know, stop wearing cornrows or stop wearing pieces of silver jewelry around my neck. I never thought that day would come, but you know what it did. And I like the person in the mirror today more than I did when I was in my early 20s, more than I did when I was in my teens. I like the person that I see in the mirror every day. I like that. I like the piercings. I like the the the, the sense of nade where I could stand up for myself. I like that person, you know. I'm not saying I didn't like myself before, but what I'm saying is I changed and I feel good now. So this is serious. This is no joke because if it was a joke, I wouldn't have uh, been out there buying materials for this stuff. I wouldn't have the kind of hands-on crafting I have. Not a lot of people could put together a costume and take pride in doing it. You know, people will go to a fucking Halloween USA and buy the costume and they're so lazy. Not too many people. And that's the part of being a witch too is being crafty. That's why they call it witchcraft. It's a part of not only casting spells, but being crafty with your hands, doing what you can do. Because not everybody can do that. I know what you're saying. Well, what does religion got to do with making stuff? It's got a lot to do with it. It's so much in magic that you don't even know about. So much in witchcraft you don't even know about. I am 30 years old. There's people that are probably older than me, a few years older than me, and they got everything down pat. They got a library full of their books. You know, they, they got all their, their books of shadows and all that. I just, hell, I just learned what a book of shadows is just like this past fall. You know, I read about it. I knew it was about I knew it was a journal that you write down all your spells, but I didn't know that that much about it. You know, I, it's basically a journal. That's what it is, and you're jotting down different spells, you, you know, that you want to do. That's what a book of shadows is. So I'm 30 years old. I'm still learning. That's like people 41 years old, and they're still learning how to do kickflips. Or they're, they're 40 years old and they're still learning how to do backwards uh, time machines or backwards hang fives. Those are BMX flatland tricks in case some of you listen to this video and don't know what those are. But uh, what I'm saying is it, with, with knowledge comes pleasure. With pleasure pleasure comes the age, you know. I'm 30. I was, you got to remember though, I was not brought up in a witchcraft home. We, My mom doesn't study that stuff. She She's a Christian. She's a Christian. Her mother's a Christian. Everybody in my family are Christians, but I'm not. No, no more. No, and I'll never go back to that again. Never. I don't care what you say or do. I will never go back to that. I remember I made another vlog a <clears throat> few, few, few um, weeks back. I talked about how my mom every time I leave to go on an outing or wherever I go or travel wherever I go, because I travel a lot. I think that's obvious. Why I carry like 50 pounds on my back all the time. But I might grab a bus or whatever, <clears throat> or a cab or whatever I do. You know. She always, my mom's got this saying, she always says, she's been saying this since I was a child, go in peace in the safety of the Lord. Okay, yes, I respect my mom, because that's my mother, you know? You damn right. My parents come first before anybody. Simple as that. They come first. I don't know about you guys or how it works for you, but my parents come first. That's the top of the fucking tower. Simple as that. But, um, she always says, going to play peace safety lord and i say okay that does not mean i'm possessing the fact that i'm a christian 
she's a Christian, but I'm not. Does she know that? Well, there's bits and pieces that's as obvious. The the dark makeup I wear every day, you know, the, the, the weird necklaces I got on, like what I have on now, as you can see. You know, most of the stuff I, you know, made. <clears throat> Except for this piece here. I bought this from a festival in downtown Farmington, Farmington Hills, Michigan. Um, mom, she actually gave me the money, but she didn't know I was going to buy something like this. Skull head, I mean, it's, it's a cross between life and death and reciting a mantra. And a mantra is a, like a poem, but it's really like something out of your mind that you make up. It, and it's more towards witchcraft or a religion or <clears throat> or a routine that it's really spiritual that's what a mantra is before you get ready to do a spell or when you're doing a spell or after you've done a spell you make up something that's what a mantra is in case people didn't want to always clarify that that's what a mantra is it's like a poem out of your own mind you make up towards a spiritual religion or it could be any religion it could be witchcraft it could be wicca it could be whatever you want but yeah my mom always says go in peace safe the lord but she doesn't know that I'm off into this stuff you know she doesn't know that to her it's just punk alternative which it is punk alternative but she doesn't know about the religion part she kind of suggests things she saw a few things before and you know stuff like that years back and I actually threw a few of my things away but not anymore <clears throat> I retrieved them bought new ones but yeah she's always saying oh go in peace safety of lord but in my mind I'm like okay you know I was like all right Love you, mom. That's it. I don't. I'm not going to peace safety of the Lord because Jesus Christ is not for me anymore. He that ain't in my mind, ain't my soul. I don't feel it. It's it's dead to me. You know, you're telling that's like praying. People run to me and say, "Can I pray for you?" I'm like, "Go ahead. It ain't going to do any damn thing. It ain't going to work." But you want to waste your breath? Then go for it. I go to church. I'm like, I go to church. I'll just sit there. It's not for me. So therefore, I am not a Christian no more. And that's how I know it. It doesn't have no effect on me. I remember one time, I don't know if I told everybody out there this, uh, right after that situation happened at the skate park, the first one, I should say, the fight with the three punks, the three pieces of crap, and if they're listening to this video, that's fucking fine, because I really don't give a dog damn fucking shit. Um, <clears throat> the Corey, Nick, Chris, and, yeah, Corey, Nick, and Chris, who am I talking about, or Corey, or, and, Nicole, whatever the fuck the faggot name is. Yeah, here I am calling someone a faggot and I can't talk myself. <clears throat> but, um, one day my mom, I don't know where we were going. Oh, yeah, I think we were, she was taking me to my a doctor's office because I had an appointment that day. This was, this was actually just this past year. Probably say it was like in, man, I don't know. It had to have been like in April sometimes of 2012, just this past year. My mom was... You know, she she's a Christian. She plays a lot of Kirk Franklin and Mary Mary and uh, a bunch of other, you know, a bunch of other stuff. She's a Christian. That's what she is. She's really a Christian. I got something else to tell you guys that, that happened to me when I was like 19, 20 years old. But uh, anyway, she was playing some kind of weird song. I don't know if that had an effect on me or not. Maybe I want to say, I want to deny the hell out of it, but maybe it did. But it didn't really do anything. But I think it was like, you guys ever had mixed emotions about something? Like, you're upset about something, and then something else is on your mind at the same time. It's kind of like what happened to me. I know she was playing. She was playing one of those fucking singers, one of those people, Kirk Franklin and a crew or something like that. I don't know what the hell it was. Like I said, I'm not a Christian no more. I used to go to church every day. You know, this is weird, I know. It should be it would be it it would be the opposite. People would be saying I used to be into the negative stuff. Now I transition from negative stuff. Now I'm a born again Christian. But see, you're talking to somebody that's been baptized before. I've been dipped in the water, you know. I know what you're saying. Well you're into this stuff now and see, if it could be a way that I could get baptized the other way that would be awesome. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. But if I could get baptized into crossing over from where I was a Christian to what I'm into now, which is witchcraft, that would be awesome. I don't think that's possible. Though. I think that with witchcraft, it's a lot different. You don't go and get baptized or anything. You more or less, it's a self thing. You know, it's a preference self thing. You go and you do it yourself, you know. 
But um, <clears throat> yeah, I was in the car. We were going to my appointment. I just burst out in tears. I don't know why. And I think the reason for that, maybe the the song my mom had, it didn't play a role in it. I think more or less I was so upset and what happened is it came back to haunt me because I should have said what I was going to say to those fuckers and I didn't get a chance to it. So I always going to Arizona and traveling and, you know, getting their little sponsors and whatnot. And that's my problem. Instead of me bursting out and flipping out and saying what I want to say, I burst out in tears as opposed to, you know what I'm saying? You barely see me cry. You will, you'll barely see me cry. I got to be really, really upset. You know, but anytime I'm really upset, you better watch the fuck out. That's when my eyes change from my natural eye colors like chocolate brown. They go from chocolate brown to light, light, <laughs> light tree trunk brown. That's when you want to watch out because all hell's about to break loose. You know, and that's how I know that I was already destined to practice witchcraft. I always was destined to become a practicing witch because with that with being a Christian all those years, I already had that kind of power and that commitment to do what I'm doing now. You see what I'm saying? Just like if someone was Wicca or whatever they were and they transitioned to that to being a Catholic and they pray for somebody and it works automatically. Well, for me, it's the same way but opposite. So it's like when I was a Christian all those years, I had that power to do whatever I wanted to do. Now that I'm not a Christian anymore and I got my other religion going on and I'm no longer a Christian, that's why it works just like that. It's like Donovan, this spell's gonna work. This curse is gonna work that you cast it upon your victims or your enemies or whoever the the person or the individual was, you know. <clears throat> so that's what that's my thing about that. And my this is serious people. It's no joke. A lot of people at the park always talking to crap. Oh, ha, ha, do a spell on me, Don. This is not a joke. I'm not playing with magic. I'd like, oh, okay, I'll do it. And no. I shouldn't even say I'm going to do it. That's disrespecting the creed of all witches. No, I'm not going to do it because I'm taking this serious. You don't tell me to do a spell because you're mad at someone. Or, hey, Don, do a spell on me. He pushed me off my bike. That's stupid. This isn't hunting a toy with people. So this is serious. You know, I want to get that off my mind, you know. To clarify that, people make fun of me. This is not a joke. As funny as it looks to you or sounds to you, it's not a joke. Yeah, I'm black, and I, be, I black people can't, kids shouldn't be witches, and this and that. It's all stereotypical bullshit. Why do fucking I don't know? Here's one for you. Why do white people fucking sag their pants? Right? Exactly. So don't fucking talk shit about me and label me with that stereotypical bullshit because it makes fucking no sense is dumb you go to Hades you know where that's at those are all black people and they're all voodoo specialists there you go these people charge like a thousand dollars you go to Africa I mean Africa Africa you go over there that country is rich in voodoo they charge people a thousand dollars a spell so if it wasn't real why do they have rituals like that if it wasn't real why do they have new age shops they got candles that you could buy online that's been energized it's got little chips of Stonehenge in it for $200 a set. So there you go. You think people are saying, oh, cool, it's a cool candle. I'm going to buy it and pay $1,000 for a candle. Believe me, this is real. It's, it's, just, this is, it's just as real as the hair on your head. <laughs> okay, so. But, um, yeah, I just want to clarify that. And now we're going to go to another subject. Second thing. I'm at 1910 here. I got plenty. Of time I am sick of people just in general seriously asking me the most dumbest fucking question which is none of their damn business <clears throat> I get this all the time sometimes at the park what do you do for money let me ask you this why the fuck should it matter if if I'm not eating your food. I buy my own groceries, by the way. I mean, I'm 30. I should be buying my own fucking groceries. But, yeah, I buy my own groceries. Just to clarify that. At least you guys know that much of fucking nation about me. <clears throat> if Here's my deal on this. Asking people questions about what do they do for money. It's none of your fucking business, number one. And here's why. If that person you're asking a million questions to, do they, what do they do for money? I don't care what they do, whether they're stripping or dancing poles or whatever the hell they do. It shouldn't be none of your business, and here's why. Because 
that person is not eating your food that person is not running your electricity that person is not using your water that person is not sleeping in your bed see so that's none of your damn concern so why does it matter I don't ask people what they do for money because it's none of my damn fucking business that's stupid you don't ask someone that no I was wondering no there's I, I kids always say I was wondering no there's no need to wonder about it I live at home I don't live at your house or run your water bill or eat your food up or run your electricity or your utility so therefore as that question is answered it's none of your fucking business so don't worry about what someone does for money it's none of your business well you afraid to say it no it's not a point of frank to say it. it's none of your business it shouldn't be none of your concern it's like I told fucking Corey Wigarski on the fucking Facebook you know <clears throat> A lot of people think I'm, you know, I'm an idiot. You hold grudges all the time. Well, here's why I hold a grudge. It's part of being a witch. We are supposed to keep dwelling on an enemy so until we get what we want. Until they suffered. Until we feel that they, that enemy suffered enough, we're going to get them and get them. Oh, people run to me. Oh, Corey, didn't, nothing happened to him. That's fine. And I'll do it again. So at least I'm holding a grudge and possessing it through magic rather than try to go to fucking Arizona or California where the fuck he is and go, hey, you're a fucking bitch and knock him in his fucking face, you know? So I'm pretty sure all the shit he talks online, he's not going to say it when he comes back to Michigan, you know? Seriously. He fucking is all cool and calm, but when he's over in Arizona, he talks all his shit on Facebook, you know? But anyways, just like that, like... <clears throat> shit like that, I'm I'm just saying, you know, oh, well... You're, you're the one supposed to be acting like an adult. People will sit up here and start shit with you. They'll talk all this fucking shit. Then when you see a person, they will never confront you, you know? So my thing is, it's none of your fucking business. Because where the fuck is your gold and your throne at? You're not the fucking king of the world either, huh, are you, buddy? So don't talk. Where's your, where's your Monte Carlo at? Where's your mansion at? Where's your caviar at? Where's your fucking goddamn spinning rims with diamonds on them, you know? Exactly. Where's your fucking, you know, where's your fucking diamond encrusted fucking teeth? Where's your fucking wood grain fucking Cartier, Cartier sunglasses? Exactly. So don't fucking ask me what I do for money because it's none of your damn business. I don't give a damn if I fucking work at a goddamn graveyard and I got a fucking repave tombstones. For a living. It's none of your fucking goddamn business. I don't give a fuck if I got a fucking I don't know. Go to a fucking piercing shop and shine the piercings up. It's none of your fucking goddamn business. I don't give a fuck if I gotta climb ladders every day to reach the seventh star. It's none of your fucking business. It's my life. So it's none of your business. So it shouldn't fucking matter. Simple as that. So quit asking people stupid shit like that. You'll be lucky if they don't fucking cuss your ass out, you know? It's none of your concern what someone does. Why is it your concern if that person's not eating your food or using your water, your electricity, etc., etc.? It shouldn't matter. This is a new year, everybody say. Well, you know what? Start acting like it's a new fucking year. Pull your head out your ass. Because nobody is better than any fucking body. We are all equal on planet Earth. We are all equal. Sure, some of us got better wealth than others. Sure, some of us might look prettier than others. Sure, some of us might know how to put makeup on a certain way better than others. Sure, some of us not, might know how to. Some of us might know how to do a bike trick the first day and land it and ace it better than others. Some of us might know how to skateboard better than others. Whatever it is, if that person is not. <laughs> If that person is not validated to you, it should not matter what they do for money. There's this between wondering and just being a smart ass and asking a billion fucking questions. So, 2013, do yourselves a fucking favor. Put your head out your fucking ass and quit being such dicks and prudes and bitches. Because it ain't getting you nowhere in fucking life, okay? It is none of no one's fucking business what anybody does for money. I don't, I would never ask somebody that because it's none of my business. If you're not living with that person, if that person is not eating your food or using your electricity up, it should not fucking even matter. It shouldn't even matter. <laughs> Seriously, it really shouldn't. This is all I had to say. I hope I, I got 
to a, through a lot of ears because a lot of my messages on YouTube fell through dead ears because people fucking have you probably look at my videos and say, oh, it's just some dumbass vlog from another black fucking faggot or whatever you call me. I don't know. But uh, you all know who you are. Uh, act like this is a new year. Act like 2013 means something to you. I got three New Year's resolutions. You know what? They're the same three resolutions that they were last year. Get better at my witchcraft. And I mean get better at it and possess myself and know that. I mean not like that. I mean definition number one. Not like possess like devils enter my body or something. Not like that. But I mean through magic get better at it. Okay, number one is top line. Get better at my biking, of course. I'm 30 years old. I should be doing something, you know. And three, um, stand up for myself a little better. And if you ask me, those are pretty hell of a good freaking, you know, New Year's resolutions. Rather than stupid shit, people say, oh, I'm going to lose weight. We all know this is a damn lie. Oh, I'm going to quit smoking. You know, they got this stupid bubble gum out that you chew and it's supposed to sm make you not want cigarettes. That's a damn fucking lie because people will chew that damn shit and they go right back to smoking a pack of Newports the next fucking day, you know. But stuff like that, you know, New Year's resolution is supposed to be a New Year's resolution. It's got to mean things. 2013, people, do yourselves a favor. Quit being smart asses. Quit being dicks because it ain't getting you nowhere in life. You know, don't let no one walk over you. No, stand up for yourself. I'm I'm still learning how to do it. I've been learning how to do it since I was 27. Now it just hit me. This this incident happened just last year with these fucking people I knew for eight, for eight years. Finally stood up for myself. You know what? They left me the fuck alone. You stand up for yourself, people leave you alone. But uh, this is all I have to say, man. I, You know, people, I hope everyone's listening. Uh, this is Diamond Kelly signing up. A.K.A. Uh, Acoustic Bay. Subscribe if you already haven't. I'm an awesome person. I got an awesome channel. Awesome videos. Comment me. Inbox me. Tell me what you think of my channel. And uh, Happy New Year's and many more years to come. We made it. Let's, you know, let's keep it that way. Um, you guys have a good night. This is Diamond Lamar Kelly signing off. Uh, Acoustic Baby YouTube. I think it's approximately 3.05 a.m. It's almost thursday now uh this is wednesday or wednesday as the people like individuals myself like witches and all that stuff wednesday is when we brush up on our spells i told you guys that before every wednesday which is you know we know brush up on what spells we feel then where do we go back on them but uh anyway yes me signing off uh, you guys have a good night all my witches and pagans and uh <clears throat> individuals like myself practicing witches so mode it be let it be Later.